Hey, what up guys? It is the Book Zero again, and welcome back to the Third Age Total War. Today we are continuing the Rohirrim campaign, and I'm so sorry that it's been uh, quite a while since we did this. Um, I've been very cold for the last two days. Uh, I've been just, you know, glued to my bed, uh, throwing up every now and then. Uh, and it's been, it's been fucking hell. Um, but I think, I think I've gotten rid of most of the sickness and I'm, I'm able to sit in front of my PC again, uh, actually playing, uh, games. And, uh, yeah, I'm sorry that I haven't up been uploading in, uh, in quite some time. Um, I've simply been too cold, ill, and I've had quite a lot of schoolwork to, to, to do. So, um, not that I'm behind in anything, but it felt, you know, appropriate to actually do something in it. And, um... Yeah, but I'm back on track now, guys. Gonna upload way more than what you've seen recently. Uh, it's been a high lack of videos, but uh, I'm gonna race it right now and just uh, get as many series done as possible and open up for future uh, possibilities, whatever you want to call it, <laughs> future possible series, should I say. Um, I, I do want to have one more Napoleon Total War campaign, and I also want to play Rome. Uh, I've never done a Let's Play of Rome, the, the grandfather of of all total war games uh which i you know, well i'd really like to make one simple as um and um but yeah so that's what i have in plan uh march the eagles maybe a sim city let's play uh maybe an rpg first person shooter i don't know there's not too many fun games out now right now to be honest i, I don't know this 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 spring hasn't been the best of springs but i don't know I guess I'm kind of like a yes. crisis here. Like I don't know what you want to call it, but 18-year-old crisis, finishing school soon. What should I, what should I do afterwards? I'm just gonna be a be a randomer dragging around the wastes. Two Gondor diplomats just chilling around here. I'm gonna be a Fallout scavenger. That's what I'm gonna do for profession. Did I have? Uh, yeah, I've got a guard unit pa opening or guarding the pass there. But yeah, I really <laughs> respect you guys for respecting me and my my recent uh, problems as being sick and all that. Uh, when you get back to YouTube and upload a video, getting quite a lot of dislikes just because it isn't what you expected is sort of the, the worst thing a YouTuber could, could receive. Uh, but hopefully I satisfied everyone's need for the World War I co-op Let's Play as me and the other guys finished it this, uh, this uh, weekend. So I uploaded all of that. Uh, so yeah, I've got more time now for for these things. Um, still got my Australian Let's Play. But anyways, let's focus on this now that I've given everyone an update. Uh, I still need to make that Q&A video, and I have enough footage now from different games. Um, yeah. Oh, and yeah, you saw my recruitment video. That was kind of funny. Um, <laughs> yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I've seen too many recruitment videos to to want to make something that isn't unique. <laughs> Mordor coming up there. Oh, they're attacking us. They're attacking. Two of the defensemen. Look at Theoden. He's... I haven't seen a man with more stars than that. Lord Theoden the Merciless. Why would they call him Lord Theoden the Merciless? Look at his command. Look at his loyalty. He isn't very respected. And he doesn't really... Well, he's loyal and has a good command. What makes him the... The, the Merciless? Merciless Conqueror. Four plus and fear. Ah, oh. it's great. This guy's a superb commander. Must be the best in all of. I don't know who would make a better commander. Maybe Aragon, if he was a general in this game. Probably is. Seriously, is that Adoras right there? It must be the back gate or something, because all these houses look so small. Like there's nothing there. Like, you couldn't fit a whole Rohan or Hiram Garrison in that. Alright, okay. Um, so we're back. Back at the helm. Battering orcs to death. I hate the forests, so I'm going to stay out of the forests as much as possible. This time around, let's get all the axemen. Sorry about that. Put them right there. Just, you know, in a fighting position. Uh, I'm going to have my archers, which I have quite a few of this time around. Really ex excited about that. going to have a tight formation. Um, then I'm going to have Cav on the, that wing. 
Ready to storm in uh, along with another cav section on the left wing. Come on, orcs. Bring it. Hmm. So, yeah, a new Hobbit movie is coming out later this year. That's going to be cool. Uh, I'm not super excited over it, though, but... You know, I, I really did like... I, I thought the first movie was, it was good, but... I don't know. Don't think it beats the 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 others, being the the other Lord of the Rings trilogy, trilogy or whatever you want to call it. How do you say tr trilogy or trilogy or whatever? I don't know. I'm just thinking of Triari. I think this one has like two eyes in it. It becomes a Triari. -I. Like you wouldn't say Triology because there's not two eyes in it. I don't know. <laughs> this guy here, Th 35 men. Should merge them into something else. I don't think I have any spots open for them though. All right. They have got catapults though, which I am not a big fan of at all. Um, let's see how this game deals with the groupment or the the group movement. I've had problems with group management in these games before. Talking about group management, it's just, well, it's not very related to group management, but I have, um, I have been working on a north and south machine over some time uh, that I really like and all. Let's move these guys up. Hmm. We're gonna take the defensive this time around. When we got time to sit around like a fucking bag of Doritos, we gotta move in, do this shit. Do it for real, you know. Oh, fuck. Well, at least the group movement isn't fucking up on me for the first time in ages. I've had problems with that before. <laughs> like, the whole thing just, like, moves in a completely different formation. Like, what were you thinking? <laughs> that beautiful management. Archers should be able to open fire any time now, as soon as they're in position. To be honest, this range for an ar arrow to fly. Oh, talking about that. Here comes the catapults. Catapults! Release the prisoners. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm cold. Too bad. I, can't, I, I could do that way better. I wasn't so damn ill. So, yeah, I'm hoping to recover pretty soon. Uh, luckily, or, well, whatever you want to call it, the um, school right now is really easy. Like, it's... Like, I haven't got a lot of things to do. Uh, and this week and the next week is going to be really relaxed and I have a super sweet uh, break for a week after that. But then I'm going to London with my school after that break, so that's going to be pretty sick. Can't wait to do that. It's going to be crazy. People will not return home. Look at them charging and they're just getting mowed down by the archers in a constant fire. Like, oh my god, there's demolishing. But the artillery is just really killing me here. Oh, I didn't see that these guys were busy with Orc Raiders. Orc Maulers are pretty damn good. They're nasty. They're going to be nasty against my Cav. Ah, uh, I think I didn't pull out. One unit's going to break sooner or later. We're obviously having the quality over quantity here. We're going to go take out that Orc Catapult artillery unit back there. seems to be doing pretty fine here. Did we really decrease their strength that much? That's awesome. Scouts, I never thought you were capable of doing that. Actually, there's almost a certainty over here. That isn't very good. Come on, Axeman, you can hold. We've got a pretty strong line here of defense. 
Oh, how's their cab doing here? They're charging straight into the catapults. Is this ain't troll? Yeah, nice. They're not troll catapults. These guys are gonna get slaughtered. These are like Schnaga guys. Ah, oh, but they're hitting me so damn well that they're killing so many. Like you don't think of it. There's only a few shots, but it just it's it's absolutely so bloody devastating. And my cab cannot hold in these longer fights. We're taking out the cab now. I should have or catapults. I should have taken that out earlier. Dude, my left flank is looking pretty beat down to be honest right now. I'm gonna have to start firing at that. Theoden is being killed from behind by orc maulers. That's super bad. Are we lacking manpower over there? So is the positioning? I don't know. Just just when that one unit routes that's when we know that shit's gonna go down for the orcs we're just deciding to use firearms now here to lower their morale that's frying up quite a lot of orcs no no doubt oh my cab cannot win this fight like this try and strike back there this is bad, guys. This is bad. I should have fought them over the water where I had a, an upper hand. It looks like they got to me first. Hmm. Bad, to say the least. Uh, I'm wondering if I should pull out or not. The... It's back and forth, really, as far as winning and losing. I need to storm straight into one of these orc bands over here. Now that I've taken out the catapults. Actually, they failed to take out the catapults. They just disabled them temporarily. That's bad. Seems yeah. Hmm. They used to break off so much quicker before. Could be the lack of cavalry. I've never had this many foot troopers or whatever you want to call it. Foot soldiers. Wondering if I should pull back just to... Oh, there we go. One break enough now. That's, that's good enough. Now they're fighting to the death. Should I? Should I just pull back? Yeah, I'm just gonna pull back. Just gonna call for the retreat. We're just gonna get the hell out of dodge. Changes in the course of battle. The defeat seems almost certain. Take a few nasty losses to this, but. I wasn't gonna win this anyway, so hopefully they'll stop pursuing me now they're still going at me. Is there a unit I can leave behind? This four man unit right here. Ah, oh, they stopped chasing me. Everyone's getting out. Yeah, just retreat. We need to make a stand somewhere else. Uh, this army was too good for us. I think I need more cav. And perhaps I wasn't spreading myself out too much. I should just have one big line mixed with axemen and spearmen. And then if we'd have a longer line, um, we could definitely surround them, because they got the surround on us. Uh, they definitely did around the edges here, which which caused the defeat. Besides, their just catapults just took, just uh, inflict too many da or casualties on us. We'll see who lost the most, though. It could be a strategic, um, or, or whatever you want to call it, a strategic victory for the orcs, but still a tactical one for us, seeing as we we took less losses. Well, I don't know what you judge it on. Wikipedia says like strategic victory. That's when the enemy, like, won the one took the took the battlefield and won the won the won the position or whatever you want to call it. But yet they tactically lost it because they lost just simply too many troops. Or is it the other way around? Tactical victory and strategic loss. You can take a look at uh, Antietam over that one. Uh, that's a brilliant, or it's a very good. Um, it says like that it, that it was a union. Uh, strategic victory or whatever. Uh, no, we lost just about as many. <laughs> By all the signs, Captain Shagrath. I'd say there's a large warrior loose. Elf, most likely. With an elf sword, anyway. And an axe as well, maybe. Oh, shit. Was that my own, guys? Okay, I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> I'm so used to winning. Okay, this little backup unit here is gonna... It's gonna stop them from advancing too far in. I'm gonna call the retreat on them if I can. Yep. There we go, they're stuck there. 
We're going to try and make another stand up here, but we're going to need some reinforcements. I was certain that we were going to win that easily, but it appears not. <sighs> These damned guys up there. I think I got myself in a piece with them. Or like a ceasefire last time around. That's why they stopped attacking me. I think so. No, I'm at war with them. Here we go. And diplomat has arrived. Ceasefire. Very demanding. I'll also um, give you my map information. I'll give you trade rights. And I'll give you a regular tribute just to support you. Uh, 10,000 for five turns. This proposal is a this meeting okay. Disappointing. Sorry that I disappointed you. <laughs> Why are there... Okay. Yeah, I st look, there's not an auto management, but there's still... Oh, yeah, we're recruiting more troops for the, for the second attack up here. I understand. Um, army. We'll take... Then we'll move up with this. As you wish. My Lord. Yes. Your will, my Lord. That should combine with this guy up here, and we should just bring down Talser again. I'm wondering where their where their um, other army yes. went. They had one outside Dunyard, but they stopped attacking me, so I thought we had a little ceasefire going. Um, gonna pull back up here we can go no to this hold. And I'm just going to try and hold this. Going to merge Your these units my together. Yes, my lord. Make for a more effective army. Still got these guys up here covering that approach. Kind of want to reinforce, though. Some more troops. Oh, yeah, Ballista. That's what I need. Totally. My answer to Catapult. Adoras. Wondering if I'll ever get, ever get some better troops. Knight stables. Pretty sure the barracks will give me some. Ah, yeah, Earling swordsman. That's what I want. I've been kind of bad when it comes to the structures. I've been building as much as I can, really. I've got the economy for it. Just gotta, you gotta be careful. Gotta replenish these guys. Uh, construction, yeah, they're free to build whatever they want. That's better. The, the orc threat up there is kind of small, to be honest. Nothing that I'm worrying about either. And I don't need a very large garrison there, because I think they're too busy with the elves and uh, the the, um, the the kingdom of Arnor and all that stuff. If that has been formed. I think it has been formed. Not sure. I think... Oh, it's, yeah, it's still f the, f the free peoples of Eridor. Is it the kingdom of Eridor, or is it, or is it still the, the free peoples of it? Uh, what I'm going to try now, this is going to be a bit tricky, but I want to fight that orc army at like a bridge or something like that so I can just make use of my, uh, make use of my, my quality. Let's see here. Da -da -da -da. They're definitely going to be heading down there. Yes, my lord. But if they cross up here, I'm... I'm gonna stick you. They'll move there. Your order. Now, if they move up here now, that's when I'm going to have to attack again. It's going to be a harder attack. My friend, please send an emissary to open negotiations. As you wish. Yes, my lord. Hmm. Order. Yes. Your will, <laughs> my lord. Doris. Hornburg. Mm hmm, hmm, hmm. That's a good army. That's a nice composition right there. Are you still on? No, you're not. Oh yeah, you no. See? Oh, that's me recruiting you, aren't? Isn't it? Yeah, that is. I'm gonna stop right there because we don't need anything else. Thank you for your time, Foldberg. Foldberg has to be one of the most troop bringing forts around here. We're gonna merge these armies into an effective force and then moving out to fight them. Gonna move that guy up there. We're number one in production and population. That's sweet. Hundred percent. 
Extraction of power, yes. Wolberg. I'm fine. Just gonna get these guys in here uh, better position. Done how I want to use Adorus as more of a recruitment area, seeing as it's got fairly large population, eleven thousand. I think that beats most. Isengard's got five thousand. Hornberg's got three thousand. Foldberg's got only a thousand. They're recruiting like crazy. I guess the population goes down quite heavily. Ooh, Gondor's fighting back the orcs. Uh, and there's um, my second Theoden just standing there as a, as a, <laughs> a hologram. Why well, they got beaten back by such a small orc force? Hmm, it's weird. <laughs> They're retreating back into their castle. The other way around instead of going around. So hilarious. So yeah. Arnach. Gondor. Dale. I haven't seen anything from Dale lately. I need more trade rights or trade agreements with people. I need to go set that shit up. Mordor. Wild men of Dunland. Orcs of Gundabad. Harad. I'm wondering, uh, thinking of the diplomats, if they're going to bring back diplomats and spies and all that. And go home and load the ancestors are tired of March. What? I haven't even used them. Fair enough. If you're tired, you grumpy little piles of shit. Go home then. Okay, this is going to be interesting. Make sure everyone here is fully merged together. Uh, so who do we move out? This guy, definitely. Um, this guy moves out. This guy moves out. I think we'll be doing some army management right here later on. But I want to have everyone involved anyway, so it doesn't really matter. All troops are going to be used for the attack. And this time we're going to kill them again, and hopefully they will not regain their strength. Um, if they do spawn another big army, I'm just going to chase them. Or perhaps not even abandon my castle, seeing as that caused quite the, the problems last time around. Mordor's attacking again, but they beat them back. It's weird when they... how they manage. Oh, they moved up and now they're moving down again? That's awkward as hell. Yeah, their army has increased or decreased insanely. I'm I'm not sure if they actually afford having such a big one of only one city. That could be the reason why. They should be easy to be defeated. That's the army we saw up there attacking Dunyard. Uh, <laughs> well now. As you wish. Yes. Scouts party moves ahead. Let's move all these guys over. Uh, da, 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 da. We're uh, doing a siege here, so calving is going to be the most important thing. I'd like to see how these bandits do. This is going to be nice. Still, to see Sylvan Elves or the Misty Mountains. That's bad for us. Huh, that's not really good news. Um, well, okay, let's see here. End Wade, uh, nothing else is going on here. That's great. Production-wise, building as much as we can. Uh, they moved up and then they moved down again. We'll see what he does. If he's moved down here, I'm just going to head right down there. Then he's probably going to move up again. Hmm. Well, that's a bit of a bummer. Uh, why are there so many Gondor diplomats around here? Hmm. Not much is going on there. I can just untick that. Damn it. Well, what a fool I've been then for some time. I guess I read it in the comments section on some of my videos. Like, you could just untick it and you could deal with it yourself. I'm like, okay. Because I thought the governors that you had to have a general present. 
Uh, at least in stainless steel, you have to in order to be able to build, I think. Oh, yeah, stainless steel is super nice as well. We had a pretty cool Byzant Byzantine campaign where we did awesome, but the game crashed because, I don't know, whenever we passed the Polish uh, in, in the uh, faction screen or whatever, it just crashed. That was a big bummer. That was a big disappointment right there, I'll tell you that. Can't blame anyone for it. Captain Buldar, look at him, looks like a wolf. Yeah, that's a smart idea. I'd like to see him... Oh, are you going to make a move? Huh? It'd be so funny if he just actually attacked us there. Orcs of Gundabad. Harad. I know for a fact that we should actually destroy this army right here easily as well. And then just move on. Shouldn't be too hard. Okay, we're gaining positions now. That's great. Money is looking strong. That's an order assault right there. Execute. Let's merge these guys together. Okay, we didn't lose anyone. And we're going to attack this here. They've got quite a good army though, but wow. These guys are good. Like, they're good. What I'm gonna have to do is hmm. I'm just simply gonna have to attack and then just hold them and just like fight them outside, because I'm not gonna go into a big siege with them. Abysmal, yeah, yeah, do I care? No, I don't. We've hated each other for centuries. It's not like we're going to start liking each other all of a sudden. So they want to... What they want to... Ultimately, what they want to do is they want to use... They want to come in from above and attack Minas Tirith. They don't want... They're not very interested in my stuff, right? So I'm just going to make sure they yes. can't do that. Gondorian volunteers. That's sick. Yes. I think I deserve another fight with them, though. But this guy's going to definitely defend this, if not even attack Malgalad. I just want to see where they move. It's going to be interesting to see what they use. Let's see here. He's going down to talk to them. It would be funny if he bought that orc army, bribed them. I used to bribe all the time back in Rome and Medieval. And I was wondering, why did I lose so much money? But that was like four or five years ago. Sylvan elves are coming down here. Or well, one type of elves. and Maybe not Sylvan. It's probably Lothorian or whatever they're called. Orcs of Gundabad. Hmm. Looks like we're going to have a fight. Uh, they outnumber me with like three units. No, that's probably two because they have like almost 300 men in each unit. Believe not that in the land of Gondor the blood of Numenor is spent. Nor all its pride and dignity forgotten. Boromir. Captain General. Captain General. That's a funny rank. Yeah, have they got any ranged? Yeah, they got goblin trackers. Wow, these are like all melee units. Or like all ranged units. Goblin trackers. Yeah, I'm probably going to lose this battle, no doubt. But I'm still going to be on the offensive. It'll be a 300 moment. Charge! Just keep fighting, just keep fighting. Oh, come on, you can't lose against fucking Schnaga Stalkers. Come on. That's horrible, guys. <laughs> well, you know what? I think I need to stop using these here in militia. That are just about as good as Yari Ashigaru. They're not cutting it. Yes, show me the water. Great. Well, well, we killed a lot. Well, we didn't at all. That was horrible. Jesus Christ. God damn it, my men suck. I just gotta stop using bad infantry. That's the that's the end of the story. Stop using bad infantry deploys. 
Oh, they took that bridge. God damn it. I gotta, I gotta form an army quickly enough to defeat them before they start assaulting Burich or Austin Edil or anything like that. I guess I can build one just here in the vicinity. Uh, okay, so now they moved up again. Uh, well, we're gonna have to fight them, right? Yes, uh, I'll wait until they attack one of my bigger places, and then I'll just chill there as they try and besiege it. Construction report. Oh, we're the most advanced faction. I like that. Okay, that was nasty of them to do that. It's incredibly evil and f cruel of you to do so. But, don't you worry. These nearby cities can provide for a strong defense. They will. An order. Bam. Moving to crush the enemy. If they attack me out on the field, They're I'm gonna have so many ramps to set up, so I'm just gonna do like that. Then I'm gonna have this guy coming in as reinforcements. So then we'll take them out. They missed with the wrong row here, him, dude. The wrong row here. I'm telling you that. Alright. So hopefully the Ents will return one day. Your order. Ah, uh, looks like they want to hit us after all. It's not Gondor they were looking for. They're just trying to find another way into Rohirrim territory, or Rohan territory, should I say? Dwarves, high elves, Sylvan elves. It's elves of Lorien. That's what they're called. They mm -hmm. added that in this latest version, or because of uh, the sub mod we're using. Uh, could be that way as well. Orcs are good about attacking Austin Edel. They're definitely going to want to try and retake that. Uh, I remember the Balrog they showed me once. I did. I killed it. I destroyed that army. It was, it was a hard fight, but I did it after all. Too bad you guys missed out on that. Now they're moving up again. I don't understand what they're up for. Like, I'm just going to move around and just continuously attack them. That's Lorien and Mortar. That's sweet. That's going to clean some... It's going to get some fire off my back. Mortar is now the most advanced faction, right? But I'm climbing closer. Yeah, 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 yeah. A little Schnaga force is besieging you. Run in terror and fear, please do so. Birig, uh, you don't have anything to offer me. You guys in Tharbad, on the other hand, could form a pretty strong garrison. We're gonna form just a good army to, to keep the north clear. And we're still besieging this. 35, 29, 100. Oh, wow, they're less than I expected. I was expecting a shit ton of units there, but their numbers are just gonna drop. I mean, if you look at the flag, you outnumber them like 3 to 1. So, yeah, even if they have a lot of numbers, they're not. Or even if they have a lot of units number wise, that's just gonna witcher away in the battlefield quite quickly. Um. Huh. Yeah, money-wise, I'm doing fine. I'm losing a little now and then, but I've got such a big stockpile of just gold that I should be fine no matter what. Gondor's moving up as well. Gondor's moving up and down. Gondor. Dale. And they're moving down. And they're going up. They're going to fight the elves up there. Aha. This this leaves me with two options. I could either pursue them and destroy them. Or try my best to destroy them at least. Or I could attack Malgalad to create a new frontier. Like a, a fort where I would that I would be forced to hold for the next upcoming turns. Uh, that they would focus on. Relieving all these other areas from the heat. Um... Because I'm pretty sure I'd defeat that Malgalad force pretty quickly. Yes, my lord. Uh, but I must. No, I can't do that really. I feel that feel bad for the elves, so I'm gonna have to attack. Anyways, before we end this episode, I hope you've enjoyed it. I'm glad to be back on the track. There comes the orcs. Look at that. This force here, three units attacking that, I'm pretty sure we'll hold that. 
And we have a backup right down here. In case they would break through it, which I doubt they would. We're just going to form these together and destroy those guys up there. Th this ground is... Like... Like it's because we've been laying siege to it and we have such a big force there. Yeah, this is going to witch our way quite easily. Anyways, I hope you've enjoyed the episode. I certainly have enjoyed playing it. Uh, don't forget to support and tell me what you want to see more, you know, when it comes to gameplay. I bought Armor 3 recently, so maybe you want to see some Armor 3 gameplay. You never know. Anyways, I'm going to head off. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, I'm going to save this as 10. I think that's what we're on. I missed a number 8, apparently, but we're definitely not on the 10th episode, <laughs> no matter what. Anyways, guys. Um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys next time. Until then, you guys enjoy. Bye.